Hi, we're here to talk about how to measure load regulation out of a power supply. My name is Scott Lester. I'm the manager of applications engineering for linear power here at Texas Instruments. And I just wanted to go over this measurement technique real quick. Our typical power supply, this can be a linear supply, it can be a switch mode power supply, it doesn't really matter. This spec covers all. We have some input voltage we provide to the power supply, and of course it provides some output voltage. The load regulation that we're looking to measure is going to be a measure of the output voltage versus the current coming through the load. This voltage could be expressed in terms of voltage or a percentage of the output voltage. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to come up basically the same. Typically, the graphs decrease as load current goes up. The output voltage drops down. Now, the trick here to measure this is to try to get it accurately about what is the power supply doing, not what is the board or the system doing. So how we're going to set this test up is we're going to go ahead and set up our input voltage. We're going to use a voltmeter on the input and we're going to use a voltmeter on the output. Why do we need this one on the input? Well, as we start to draw more and more current out of here, we're going to get some resistive losses through these traces, and maybe even from the input power supply, that are going to affect the input voltage. We need to keep the input voltage exactly the same. Otherwise, we might be measuring the line regulation instead of the load regulation. So the input voltage remains constant as we vary the load, and we measure the output. We measure this output right at the IC. Why? Well, the same reason. We have little parasitic resistances in our boards. If we measure it out here, the voltage drop will be much greater out here than it would be here. We're no longer measuring the chip out here. We're measuring basically board losses, and we want to exclude those out of the graph. So we put our voltage meter directly on the output, voltage meter directly on the input. From here, we can just vary the load, which changes the current through the output, and we can just met, read these numbers right off of here to generate this graph. Every time we adjust this resistor, we go back, we look at the input voltage, make sure it's still exactly the same as it was before. We might have to tweak this up a little bit to take into account the current resistance losses on the input. And that's all I have. Thank you.